What's up, everybody? Time for the weekly podcast episode. Just had a really good roll with jiu-jitsu. Waiting for Brax at school now. Good old-fashioned kids being kids here. They're outside playing on the playground. Pretty awesome where he goes to school. So, let me do a recap of what I completed last week. Now, a couple cool things. I was able to time it. I talked about this in one, uh, I think, the uh, day 10 video, and I talked about it again, I think, on day 11. I did a really long fast, right? It wasn't a true fast, but 10 days without food, I was able to hunt on the morning of the day 11, and I was successful. So that's a primal thing. That was something I wanted to do, go out like our ancestors used to do, empty stomach for days potentially, and get your food. So I thought that was pretty cool that I was able to do that. Today, I'm going to go over uh, your what and your why, talk about the detox, talk about mistakes I could already see people making. But before I do that, um, one of the guys I interviewed for one of my books, Anabolic Recharge, uh, Dave Osprey, very smart guy, nice guy. Uh, he's big time now. I interviewed him just going back to 2012, maybe. So... Uh, I'm sure he has no idea who I am at this point. But he was on it. I'm always listening to fasting stuff, see if there's something new I could pick up or look at in a different way or see if I had something wrong. And he was on a, a very big show talking about fasting and about there's no need to suffer. And uh, yeah, his version of fasting, obviously he's selling his Bulletproof coffee. It's products he has. But because fat doesn't directly increase insulin, you're still fasting. You're not fasting if you're going down that road. Let's be very clear on one thing. If you are doing a true fast, okay, now you can fast from food, from any type of intake. You could, uh, solid food, I should say, any type of intake. You can fast from television, social media. But when you fast, you fast. When I talk about panda fasting. There's nothing being taken in, okay, as far as uh, really, um, I don't want to say nutrients because we're taking nutrients in with the sodium. We allow coffee and whatnot and tea. But you're not taking in any serious calories, okay? Coffee might have five calories. I'm not concerned with that. But he's saying you can you can front load a bunch of fat. You know, my take was, uh, and it's much easier on you. And, but he's referring to it as fasting. That is not fasting, okay? Let's be, again, clear on that. When we're doing a true fast, you are fasting from taking any food calories in, all right? Um, we're not fasting from insulin because somebody brought up that point last year. Well, when you think about food, insulin can raise. It can raise a little bit, yes, but we're not fasting from insulin. That's one of the effects. We're fasting from food. And when you're doing a true fast, you, you activate um, a lot of mental and spiritual mechanisms that you're not going to get if you're trying to play this, this workaround game because... You know, really, when people do that, they just don't want to fast because mentally, I don't think they can grasp it. But right? it might be too tough for them. So I want to be clear on that. Now, with the detox I did, it was it definitely took me to some new levels uh, mentally and spiritually. Devin will tell you I was very calm, more calm than I, even I normally am, and I'm usually pretty calm. But you don't have the excess energy necessarily to get worked up about anything. Right, you start seeing that there's not that many things that are truly, truly um, earth-shattering that happen on your day-to-day -day life. Just go with the flow with it. Okay? So that was cool. I proved to myself that I could do it. The, the storm had to be perfect for me to do this. Probably at no other time in my life would I have done that. But coming up on cold and flu season, everything going on in the world with uh, uh, all these variants and all this, I wanted to be as healthy as I possibly could. Um, for my family and those that I have to leave heading into this season. I had had a cough since my birthday, so it was going on five weeks, and I usually I'll get respiratory stuff when I get sick, and it's not often, but maybe once a year. I mean, I've gotten some really bad pneumonia in the past and uh, influenza. But three days on this, and that cough was bye-bye. So it did its job as far as that. But what I want to talk to you about with that is I knew my why. Right, I always talk to people, you have to know your why. If you're just doing something to do it, okay, you ain't going to achieve it. 
I could have easily stopped. Devin wanted me to stop. Um, but I kept going back to my health. And, and what does that mean to my family? Right? I'm useless if I'm, if I'm laid up with the flu or something. And what I do is, right, I teach people how to be healthier. So I always have to experiment and test things on myself, which is key in my opinion. You know, if you're going to lead, you got to lead from the front. You don't lead by just dictating to people what to do. And there's a lot of lessons in that with modern day leadership, which is uh, pretty pathetic uh, at the governmental levels. But uh, let's not get sidetracked with that. So we have um, a new my why. And then you also have to know what are you trying to achieve? I had a lot of people, I guess out of curiosity, want to know how much weight I dropped. To be honest with you guys, I didn't get a starting weight. I, I'm usually around 225 in that range. And I want to say I dropped about 12, but that wasn't what I was trying to do. So I did not concern myself with that. Can you use the master cleanse for weight loss? Yes. Detoxification is critical before you lose weight. You can lose some quick weight on this. You ain't going to keep it off, though. You might keep some of it off with bloat and inflammation. So that's one thing. But I, I, I'm relatively, um, I don't have much bloat or inflammation from all the fasting that I do. So nonetheless, uh, I knew what I was trying to do. I was trying to detox my body. So you want to detox and then you want to build your body back up by putting the right nutrients in. Again, I, I already live a pretty healthy lifestyle, but now I have a new tool in my tool belt, right? This 10 day detox, I know what it can do for my health pretty quickly, pretty dramatically. But I have people messaging me, I can I use this for weight loss? And they're just doing this without knowing what they're trying to do. And I guess my point is, Always know what you're trying to do. I don't do stuff like in jiu-jitsu or uh, marketing stuff with the businesses unless uh, I know what I am trying to do. What am I doing? I need to understand it. When I try a new supplement or uh, whatever it is out there, I need to know what it is doing. How does it work? I need to understand it to do it. There's a lot of stuff financially in the past. I just do the opposite of what other people do. But financially, I can tell you, right, that's a good example. If I don't understand something like stocks and the stock market, I ain't going to do it. You ain't going to get me to do it because I don't understand it, right? And my, what I want you to understand with that, when we're talking about nutrition and detox and fasting, understand what it is you are doing and, and how it's working. That's stuff that I teach in the Panda Challenge and, and in the book because I think it's critical that you connect the dots in your head to make things stick and to see if you're going to do it again in the future and to get the most out of it. So that is critical. Don't just do stuff to do it. Don't do it as a quick fix. Understand the layers that, that you're going through, right? If you're trying to, most people, right, the way they go about weight loss is they cut calories, right? And their body is is full of toxins and, and it's too acidic, right? And that's something else we've got to address, alkaline versus acidity. acidity. You got your, your blood system, but you also have your lymph system. Nobody focuses on the lymph. We want to focus on the lymph, and we want to focus on how alkaline is your body. Uh, acidosis, acidity is the same thing as inflammation, and to me, that's the same thing as insulin resistance. That's the path I've been going down since I've been doing the fasting and teaching the fasting. Now I'm just adding stuff to that. So, so takeaways with uh, the detox, right, is the the astringent properties of lemon, right? Because you could just put the lemon in, but I've been squeezing that out, and. Uh, putting out with some baking soda in the mornings very very minimal uh nutrients but again i'm testing it right i know what i've done fasting now i'm testing different things so doing that uh and realizing right going back to what i was saying with detox you have to detox if you're going to have any weight loss stick a, a toxic body is a fat body there's no way around this and you basically have four mechanisms through uh, getting rid of toxins. You got your liver, you got your kidneys, you got your skin, and you got your lungs, right? These are the ways that we get rid of toxins from the body. And when the panda, when I do the liver cleanse with people, most people's liver is so jammed up and it's the main detoxification, it's the main one in the entire body. But if the liver's jammed up with stones and gallstones in your liver, forget about serious weight loss, right? We need to go slow and steady with this type of stuff. But detoxing first, and most people hear detox, they care less. But you got to realize that there's there's layers to how you change your body. You don't just cut calories, right? That is that is the old way of thinking, 
and look at anybody that's done it. I'm sure you've done it yourself. It is not going to work long term. You are going to be sorely mistaken, but yet everybody goes back to that way of thinking. Let me cut calories or carbs, and this time is going to be different. It's not going to be different. You're talking about uh, phys human physiology, which is brilliant and beautiful. Yanking out smarter. So detox, limit uh, insulin output, things of that nature. But that is the point I wanted to get to. Don't don't be out there. Uh, when it comes to fasting, listen to people that don't really fast and haven't really tried it. Like uh, the fellow I mentioned earlier, uh, consuming a lot of fat in your fasting period is not fasting. It's fasting maybe from carbohydrates and protein, but that's not true fasting. Um, and don't just do something to do it. Learn why you're doing it. Right? Learn why you're doing it. Do the research. You can ask me questions. You can ask. You can look stuff up. And uh, that's what I got for you today. But I learned a lot on the detox. Mentally, I put myself into a place that I wanted to go to. I made a video about that yesterday as far as you got to constantly, if you're working on mental toughness, up your ante. How do you continue to stay ahead of the curve, continue to grow mentally without getting soft? Right? And for me, the timing was right to do this 10-day fast. I don't know if I'll ever do that again. The 10-day detox, I should say, was fasting from hard food. I was doing my lemon and maple syrup drink throughout the day, which actually I got to like towards the end there. And... Uh, it's all good, though, but it's all in the name of science, all in the name of leading people and figuring out what works best for my body. And hopefully I can teach that to you guys because we're really not that different. Everybody's got a body. Everybody's got a physiology. and It's pretty much the same, right? It's pretty much the same. Some people abuse it. Some people use it. Some people really take care of it and invest in it. Okay, so that's it for this episode of Unlocking Your Inner Strength. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the share button, leave a comment if you want. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace.